Right now, though, she has appeared in some of her favourite shows, from No Angels to, of course, EastEnders. Jo Joyner's back on telly every night this week for the new series of Ackley Bridge, which she has confirmed is going to be her last. Well, Jo joins me now. Real emotion there, Jo. Obviously, of course, you're acting a part and acting a role, but I think you could tell that there's a bit of sadness. There is a bit of sadness. Hello, Lorraine. Um, yeah, also because obviously Sinetra Saka is one of my best friends and we met years ago doing No Angels. So it was part of the, the main joy of that job was getting to work together again after all those years. And I suppose there's an element during filming that scene where we were both going, God, has it got to be another 15 years before we get to play again? So, yeah, it was. It was and it's been a long time that I've been on the show. So. Of course, but you feel as if for you, yourself, and also for the character, it's kind of time to move on? Yeah, I mean, funny enough, I felt similar to how Mandy feels in this series, really. Which, the whole thing is up and running. It was um, it was great to be part of at the very beginning and to set up. Um, but now that it's up and running and it knows what it is and the kids own it all, um, it's uh, it's time to move on. I think I felt quite similar to Mandy. Yeah, job done. Job done. There we are. We can move on. The thing about this show is it really has caught on, especially with with young people which is great because the, the theme of the show, of course, it's entertainment, but also while you've been entertained, there is that education, there is that whole kind of, here's a different culture and you can understand it and you can bring people, like it's called Ackley Bridge, you know, this bridge and you bring people t together, yeah. which, is, which is terrific, isn't it? It is, it's about celebrating uh, the differences and finding the similarities in, in each other's cultures. And, you know, this year we've got, um, We've got our Romani um, gypsy family joining us. So it's, it's another kind of um, maybe misrepresented, misunderstood part of society that they're exploring um, this season. And we've got some great new young kids who, it's always hard to move on. I think the kind of loyal fans who've been with us for three years might find it, oh, who are these people? Who's coming now? But that's the nature of a school drama. The kids grow up, they leave, and, and we get a whole flux of new, brilliant people on board. Well, exactly. And also, though, that can be a bit of a problem because you did have to stop filming for lockdown. And, of course, you know how fast young people grow, like, like weeds, they grow. So that must have been quite okay. difficult. Over these next 10 days, it's going to be like spot the difference. We, um, we were halfway through filming when we went into lockdown, the first lockdown in March, and then we, were, we picked it back up in October, I think. So, I mean, anybody at home knows how quickly some of these lads especially can grow. And I remember coming back in and the costume department going to me, we've got one boy who was a size 6 shoe and now he's a size 10 shoe. <laughs> Yeah, that thing about shoes, I know that they grow out of their shoes all of the time. And I did mention the fact that so many young people like it. You all are huge on TikTok. When I say huge, it's multi-million views. Well, apparently, yes. I mean, I, I wouldn't know. I leave that to my kids because I'm told that, you know, if your mum joins in, it's a bit embarrassing. So I've, I've left it to them. But it's a good idea. It's like, oh, look at your beautiful children. They're gorgeous. And you are going to, we're going to be seeing you in a really exciting project. This is the new Netflix, Harlan Coben, the, the author, of course, with Eddie Izzard. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I don't oh, have James much Netflix. stuff with it. Um, but it is, it's a fantastic cast. There's um, Sarah Parrish, Chris Jumbo as well. It's, um, it's really exciting to be part of. And it's in Manchester, which I'm particularly fond of. So although it's been a bit strange because it's still locked down or, you know, it's opening up, it's not quite the same atmosphere, but it's, it's coming back. And I'm looking forward to being there up until the summer. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really good. I feel as if we're in, we're getting towards getting back to normal. Just a, I don't want to jinx it, but just a little bit, you know, we are, which is, which yes, is terrific. And you guys have been fantastic. You know, you've kept us all going. I was looking at Dr. Hillary earlier thinking, oh, yeah, this time last year, he's always been such a reassuring voice, hasn't he? So nope. you, must be, um, you must be ready for coming out of it all of as course, well. Of course, of course, it's great. <laughs> and you can, you can come and, and be in the studio eventually. That'll be, that'll be really good. Now, look, the last time we talked, it was about Shakespeare and Hathaway. Is that coming back? Because it is one of oh. my favourites. And you two are such a... You just work together so well. Honestly, Lorraine, it's been, we have missed each other so much, and Patrick as well there. Um, we've, we've missed each other so much this year, and we were absolutely gutted not to get to do it this September. It was just too soon to kind of book the fantastic buildings and the locations that we use. Mm. It, was, it was too comedy at the time to, to even go into. So we didn't do it this year. 
but we were all ready to do it. We had loads of ideas. Everything was in the process. So we're very excited about coming back. We'll start that. I, I think I finished this, this one in, um, in the end of July and then at the end of August, I should start some more Shakespeare in Hathaway. Yeah, so what we can't a wait. lovely position to be in, just bouncing from one fantastic job to the next. Long so may it continue for you. <laughs> <laughs> Long may it continue. And Atlee Bridge, of course, continues tonight, six o'clock on Channel 4. Thank you so much for joining us. It's also a joy to talk to you. Thank you. Bye. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.